Hey Upload, Arix here and welcome back to another E3 Breakdown. Today we are taking a look at Dragon Age Inquisition and I am here with Chef Big Willy who went into a private screening and got to see the game first hand. So, uh, Chef, let's talk about scale. So what, you know, Dragon Age before was, was a pretty vast game, but how is how does this... This Dragon Age world is four times bigger than the original Dragon Age, which four was times. huge. And it spans two continents now to sum up the story. So it's definitely enormous. Tell me some of the things that are new to Dragon Age Inquisition. We got mounts, gamers. You will now be able to ride a horse. And uh, they've hinted that there might be some other mounts. I'm picturing dragons, maybe. All right, so let's talk about characters, because obviously Dragon Age 1 had quite a bit of customization, and obviously that changed slightly in Dragon Age 2. How has customization, you know, come back into Inquisition? Well, it's interesting, Eric. The question is, is in the second uh, Dragon Age, people were a little upset that Hawk was the only character. Well, they've gone back to their roots now, and you can choose between four races, which is, has a difference of at least three different classes per race, and... There's multiple customization. I've seen a, a Kunari female wizard, and I've seen a Tevinter male wizard in the demonstration that was showed to me. So what about combat? Let's talk about combat. You know, is there anything new to that they're bringing to Inquisition? It, it's just like Dragon Age 2 gamers, but much more refined, much more detailed. You have much more precise control of your characters. Each character has multiple tiers of moves they can do, multiple tiers of magic, the skill abilities, whether you're a rogue, a wizard, fighter, there's all sorts of things. All right, well that sounds great so far. Is it, you know, are there any sort of additional things that you, you got from the private screening that you want to sort of like throw in? Yes, the developer said that every character that's been in Dragon Age will be returning and that every decision you've made in the first two games can be relevant in this third game. Okay. So if you've played it good or evil, gamers, it will continue in the third Dragon Age Inquisition. So Transfer. it might be worth going back to play your previous ones if there's something you want to sort of take over. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that sounds great. I'm really glad you got a chance to sort of, you know, go and sort of see the game in action. That is Dragon Age Inquisition. And be sure to check back on Upload if you've missed any of the E3 coverage this week. Thanks again for watching, and thanks to Chef for joining me. Good job. Raining demons out here.